This is one of the Lewis structures from the quiz you took the other day. Uh, so you're supposed to write the Lewis structure for the uh, chloride ion. <clears throat> there are 20 electrons. I hope you added those up right. Uh, and most of you gave uh, the Lewis structure that I'm drawing right now. Uh, chlorine in the middle, single bonded to an oxygen on either side, and then two lone pairs uh, around the chlorine, which I'll draw in in just a minute. Um, if we calculate the formal charge on the atoms in this uh, ion here, we know there's six valence electrons with oxygen uh, and seven with chlorine. And so if we count up uh, the lone pairs and half the bonding pairs around oxygen, we get a formal charge of negative one. If we count up the uh, lone pairs and half of the bonding pairs around chlorine, we get a formal charge of plus one. Uh, and then the same for the oxygen on the right, formal charge of minus one. And you add all those up and they do indeed equal the charge. Uh, but is there a better Lewis structure that we could draw for this, one that still obeys the octet rule, uh, but one that has a better formal charge? Uh, remember with formal charge we like to have numbers that are closer to zero, and they all certainly need to add up to the overall charge on the compound, in this case minus one. So what I'm drawing now looks a little unusual. All right, we end up with chlorine uh, having an expanded octet, but we only have the two oxygen atoms um, in there, and so there's only three atoms in this molecule. <coughs> uh, and so it, it seems a little strange, but when you look at the formal charge, it comes out looking a whole lot nicer uh, than what we had in the other Lewis structure. All right, so we end up with negative one with the oxygen on the left, uh, a zero for the chlorine uh, in the middle, and then a zero for the oxygen on the right. And that seems kind of weird until you remember that this is probably an example of a resonance structure, and that this one Lewis structure by itself doesn't accurately uh, reflect what the molecule might look like. So indeed, we would need to draw two of those uh, and really kind of superimpose them on one another to get the best case scenario where the bonds are, are neither the typical length of a single bond, they're shorter than that, uh, but they're also longer than the typical length of a double bond. So, which is the right Lewis structure? If we go based on formal charge, it's the one on the right. Now, if we go based on the simplest version of making it obey the octet rule and not have an expanded octet, then we go with the one on the left we will probably default to the formal charge argument here um, but ultimately this is going to come down to knowing or, or being able to look at experimental data to determine which one is accurately uh, which one's correct